Hi guys, welcome back. And today in this video, we'll be talking about the new feature introduced in the MCP database server of Azure Automation, which is nothing but the support of the Postgres SQL. If you remember a couple of days before I released this new MCP database server, which has support for the SQL Server database as well as the SQL Lite database, many of you have asked about what if there is a support for the Postgres SQL database, and now we have that over here. And also, you asked about the documentation. Now it is over here. So we have got an all new documentation. So if you go to the home page over here of the MCB database server. If you just go and click this link, it'll open this particular uh, page over here. It's going to show you the all new um, documentation site, which is going to show you the details of how you can work with the multiple database, the powered by Node.js and what are the things which has got over here. We have also got the uh, getting started uh, details. So if you're going to go click this particular button over there, it's going to give you the details of what this uh, MCP database server is and how you can use this MCP database server uh, and all the configuration detail is available over here. So you can see there is a release notes of the new changes that we have got in the version 1.02, which is the current version. Uh, and we have got the Postgres SQL support. And you can also see the getting started details over here. Uh, and also the database setup for the SQLite, SQL server, as well as the Postgres uh, SQL database. You can also see that we have got the uh, connection references where it's going to give you the details of uh, how you're going to connect with the database, what is the database server name, the username, password, ports, and things of that nature. So all these informations are over here. So if you're going to be doing a setup, this guide will help you to get all the different information that you are looking for, right? And we have also got some details of... Um, of what query that you can ask using this particular MCP database server, like what tables are in the database, show me the structure of the product table, uh, show me all the records of the customer tables, find all the products and things of that nature. So you can do all of these uh, from here and the cloud will respond based on that. So you can also use the same exact server with the cursor IDE or the GitHub uh, Copilot agent. It just works like charm without any problem. Well, as I said, I'm going to quickly show you the new uh, Postgres SQL support in this particular uh, video. So in order for you to do the setup, all you have to do is just go to this particular Postgres SQL setup, or maybe you can also go to the uh, setup over here. See that in the home page, we have got this detail for the uh, Postgres SQL. You just have to uh, put this command npx argument hyphen y, uh, and then uh, at exit automation slash database server, and then the details of the Postgres SQL. So it's just going to copy this whole command and paste it over there, and you're pretty much good to go. I have a Postgres SQL server up and running in my Docker desktop. So if I just go to the dashboard over here, uh, this is the container of the Postgres SQL which I'm running over there. Uh, and you can see that it's currently up and running. You just have to run this and I have got the username and password over there. And I've already configured everything uh, in my cursors um, uh, settings over here. I also got questions from guys asking like where is this settings really coming from for the cloud desktop. So if you just go to the cloud and if you go to the uh, settings over there, uh, you will be opened up with this particular setting. Go to the developer. We have got the Postgres and the Playwright uh, MCP server. Both of them are developed from the Azure Automation. Uh, so for the Postgres SQL, if you just go and hit the edit configuration, uh, it will just open up this particular configuration. And I've opened that in the cursor IDE. This is the configuration that you're looking at over there. So I have uh, set up the Postgres SQL. That's why I have a flag for the hyphen hyphen Postgres SQL. If you're using the SQL server, you just have to put the hyphen hyphen SQL server. Uh, for the SQL Lite, you can just put hyphen hyphen SQL Lite. That's it. That's what you have to do. And this is the host, which is local host. Database is this one. This is my username and this is my password. Uh, this is the connection timeout you can specify and this is the port number. I mean, this connection timeout and the port number are completely optional. You don't really even have to give it. The host and the database are the mandatory field uh, in this particular uh, tool that you have to specify for the connectivity. Uh, well, while we have everything over there, I'm going to go to the cloud desktop and I'm going to ask a very, very super simple question. I'm going to say, uh, can you show me the uh, table uh, structure of... Uh, of products or something like that you don't you don't even have to specify the products over there if you're just gonna say uh, just like product or maybe just the table structure it is still gonna go and find the table structure of the product see that now it's doing calling the describe table tool and it has got the product uh, details so it's gonna get 
the um, I mean the products table does not exist there is a product table so it's a singular see that now it also knows that there is the table called as product it has found that uh, and now it is describing the table structure for me over there so this is the ID name description price and category the data type is integer character varying uh, text numeric and character varying over there so that is the entire table structure for me and now if I'm gonna say uh, can you get all the products from the table and if I hit enter you will notice that it's gonna go and uh, do a query of all the products See that is running is so let's start from the product and then it is gonna get all the details for you pretty much like how it did for the um, uh, the SQL server as well as for the SQL Lite database I can also say make it a tabular uh, format to give me the details in a tabular format structure so this is how we can make use of the uh, MCP database server which is gonna talk with the uh, with the Postgres SQL Server as well as the SQL Server as well as the SQL Lite database, so you can interact with the database right now, pretty much like how you interact with the with the human, because it's gonna just be like an English text, and then you're gonna get all the information over there, which is quite amazing. And this is very very helpful while you're gonna be working with uh, and database testing of your application, or maybe you are gonna give your database access to a non-technical guy who wanted to query the table and wanted to understand what is the uh, what is the data. That he is looking for he can get all those information over there because you can do the joinings and uh, all those things much much easily every code is going to be written for you by this particular tool and it is quite amazing and once again as I discussed in our earlier uh, video as well you can just do a lot of different operation over there you can ask like uh, show me the product uh, which has price uh, less than maybe uh, $10 or maybe yeah $10 something like that uh, and if I hit enter you'll notice that it's gonna go and query all the products that are less than $10 automatically for me there and look at that it's gonna get me the response pretty much like the human interaction that we do and we get the response over there uh, which is amazing and I'm gonna say how about um, 20 so it knows what question that I'm asking in and then it is gonna go and query based on the price which are less than $20 and now it is printing all the values for me over there which is amazing so this is how we can make use of the uh, MCP server the database MCP server of user automation so please go ahead and start using this particular repository and the server It's gonna give you all the different information once again thank you so much for watching this video catch you in the next one